Welcome back to Study Room 26, fellow time enthusiasts. Today we delve into the intriguing world of time travel. If time travel is possible, why haven't we encountered any time travelers? And if we did, how would we even know if they're genuine? Join us as we explore the mysteries surrounding time travel and the quest for proof. Buckle up, because this is going to be one mind-bending journey. In 1998, a man named John Titor emerged, claiming to be a time traveler from the future. He insisted that General Electric had invented time travel in 2034. Titor even provided detailed descriptions of his time machine, the C-204. But then, he vanished as abruptly as he appeared. Did he complete his mission, or was it all an elaborate hoax? To understand the possibilities of time travel, we must explore the concept of space-time. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, space and time are intertwined, forming a space-time continuum. Gravity can bend both space and time, as demonstrated by massive objects like black holes. Imagine getting close to a black hole, such as Sagittarius A. Time would slow down for you compared to those on Earth. Similarly, approaching the speed of light can also manipulate time. For instance, if you traveled at 99% of the speed of light, a year for you could translate to 223 years on Earth. John Titor claimed that the C-204, his time machine, could travel in any direction. It utilized two micro-singularities to manipulate gravity, effectively locking the machine and the time traveler in a fixed point in space. Teeter's setup resembled the iconic DeLorean from Back to the Future, but it had a limitation, only allowing travel within a 60-year range. Proving someone's status as a time traveler is no simple task. They could make accurate predictions about the future or showcase advanced technology. Genetic testing might also support their claims. Yet the ultimate proof would be for you to accompany them on their next adventure. Back in 2009, physicist Stephen Hawking hosted a unique party. He invited only future time travelers but released the invitations after the event had taken place. His logic was simple. If time travel was possible, people from the future should attend. Unfortunately, the party remained empty. Nevertheless, there might be hope for time travel enthusiasts. The theory of general relativity suggests the existence of wormholes, bridges in space-time. Although we haven't observed them yet, these microscopic tunnels might collapse too quickly for human travelers. Perhaps the absence at Hawking's party was due to imprecise time travel or strict regulations against altering the timeline. So, what does the future hold? Are time travelers among us hidden or perhaps avoiding catastrophic changes to our timeline? Maybe we'll unlock the secrets of wormholes, or maybe time can only move forward. The case of John Teeter remains a mystery, but we still have years until 2034 to unravel the truth. Remember, time travel is not just science fiction. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station experience time differently due to their orbital velocity. Even though the difference is minuscule, it demonstrates the connection between velocity and time. Oh, and before we go, mark your calendars. On June 28, 2009, Stephen Hawking hosted a reception for time travelers at the University of Cambridge. No RSVP was required. If you're listening from the future, we hope you enjoyed the party. And with that, we conclude our journey through the enigmatic realm of time travel. Remember, time is a precious resource, whether it can be traveled or not. Until next time, keep exploring the boundaries of your imagination. This is Kushal, signing off.